Are you tired of spending so much money and time having to redecorate your background every once in a while, especially for those holidays? Then we have fall. Then this have video we... is for you. Hello everyone, my name is Carla Calderon and I'm making this video to teach you guys that there is another way to save money and time when creating your teacher background. Let me show you what you need blue or green portable background. You can also buy tablecloth or some type of fabric that is a solid color. In case you are interested in this portable background, then look at the description of this video. I'm going to show you guys how to create your teacher background using this blue screen and mannequin. Let's go. The first thing you need to do is go to your Google Drive and click on New, More, Google Drawings. This is where we're going to create the background. I'm going to start by right click, background, this blue. Now I'm going to start looking for pictures, the alphabet. Right click, copy image, go back to the background, edit, paste. Here we go. The fastest way to find a dino with no background is if you type all this in, okay? And I'm telling you this because I was looking for it for a while and finally I found one. I could actually even put this as the ABCs right behind it. Look, I know I pretty much cover it, right? So all you do is because I'm selecting the image, I'm just going to arrange, order, send to back. There you go. You can't see his uh, legs, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this to the front. So I select Dino, Arrange, Order, Bring to Front. And see, now I can see his little leg right there. VIP Kid Background. We could get some ideas from other teachers here. Oh, I like this one. I don't know if it's going to be too much. It looks too busy. This is the easiest way too. You could have just copied this image and then just extend it and that's it. That's your background. I decided to teach you guys a little bit more details, like other things to do besides just copying this and putting it as your background. We can make a gradient. We can have like some other color maybe. Let's see kind of like this one if you want to move two things at the same time like look so let me show you so you click on dino and then i'm going to click shift and select the books with the keyboard i'm moving to my right i'm going to click insert word art and i'm going to put teacher click shift enter carla the reason i did that is because if you click enter it's just going to put teacher itself and we don't want that so let's do this again insert word art type teacher and then again shift and enter and now you get a new line okay and now i'm going to click enter and let's change this font so i'm gonna go here to Arial impact or comic sans they're my favorite ones border weight and i'm going to put four and as you notice i normally put png because most of the time that's when it gives you a clear background five apples here so that way i could tell them, don't forget to give me five apples so you're going to select ctrl c to copy just paste it make sure that it's lined up so i will put one on top of the other i'm going to move it over I'm going to select these two and to select it you just click on one click shift click the other apple edit copy edit paste and then again just line it up and then move over this is how you create your background now let's give it a name i'm going to put teacher background all right so go to file download as png let's open manicam and here i am now i am not going to use this one because it already has my name on the bottom and this right here too i do have a tutorial how to create your teacher banner so make sure that you watch that i'm going to leave the link on the description of this video or i'm going to put a tag right up here chroma key so let's click right there turn this on and then what you're going to do is you're going to select what you're trying to take out let me step out of the way and then you just select everywhere so this is one way for you to do it and i'm just clicking 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 until it looks completely black you might see some little dots 
try to get as much as you can that's all i can say sometimes it's very hard to do so that's the reason that a lot of people say that you need good light but i feel like even in good light i've seen this problem the reason that it looks black is because i have this background which is the png like i've been telling you guys or the transparent one here you can click some different ones as you guys can see the hair is not going to disappear you can just use all these different ones now let's try me on there here i am and yes it's going to look like a little like this you see so in order to fix that a little bit what helps is if you click on blur you see this right here and then just move it over slide it just a bit see the difference look here on my hair okay watch so see so I'm just gonna do it just a little bit. Let's try this with another background. So here we go. Now, obviously I don't like this background and that's the reason that I decided to create my own. And as you can see this right here, see? So you just click right on it. So it disappears little by little. Now be careful with what you click because if you click yourself, then hey, you're gonna disappear too. Let's get our background, the one that we created. So we're gonna go here again, custom background, teacher background one and open. Ta-da! See? And this is it. This is how you create your teacher background. So let's say that you click on yourself, okay? Oop, I'm gone. <laughs> so there is not an undo button. There is a reset the whole thing, not undo. <laughs> Be careful with what you click, because otherwise you're going to start all over from the beginning. Now, let me show you another way in which you could do this, but I don't really recommend it. Turn on common key and then you actually look for your background. I'd rather have the black background instead of this. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here is the teacher background that we created. So I'm going to click and yes, you can see the image. You have to click, click, click all around, which maybe it's the same amount of time. It's just that I feel it's so much easier for me to click on the black background and then switch it to this and then here blur. I have to tell you is that there's always going to be a, see, a, an outline wave slowly. So that way it doesn't seem so much. And this is how you create your teacher background and how you use it in Manicam with your green screen. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so you get notifications as soon as I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.